Hello, welcome to Brimwood Farm. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about one of those things that's very close to most chicken keepers' hearts, and that is trying to keep your roosters quiet during those early mornings. chicken keeper and especially if you found this video then you're probably looking for a way to try and keep your roosters quiet at night. Now in many places of the world you can't keep roosters at all in certain provinces or districts and in others like where I am you just want to keep your roosters as quiet as possible not to annoy the neighbours. Now I have five roosters and as you've heard in many of my videos especially Barry they are very very loud but I get around the problem of them being noisy early in the morning and at night with sleep boxes. So, as they sound, a sleep box is literally a box your roosters sleep in. So instead of shutting your roosters up in the coop with your hens, I actually go out every single night. Once it's dusk, I collect all my roosters up and they come inside and they go into a sleep box. And what that does is it artificially simulates night. So whilst the sun might come up at 5 a.m. and your hens will be happy and out in the garden, your boys, wrapped up in their little snug sleep boxes, will still think it's night and they will be quiet. Now, it's not a 100% guarantee they will not crow. Sometimes you get a random crow in the middle of the night and sometimes, you know, you'll get a crow early on, 7 a.m., 7.30 a.m. maybe. But for the most part, it really, really takes the sting out of the tail when it comes to neighbours and having roosters crowing too early. Um, so, let me go and show you the sleep boxes. So here are my sleep boxes. They're actually in the wee house, which used to be a toilet. Um, and they are in here. So we have a cat box and we have a poultry crate. And I'll link across to both of these in the description on Amazon so you can just see the sort of thing that I'm using. Our poultry crates are extremely useful. Um, some of them have this flip top lid, but the other one that I prefer actually has a sliding lid because if you've got some boisterous cockles, they can get out of here. But the other one has a sliding lid that um, slides across and that's much harder for them to get out of. So as you'll see later, my uh, four boys go in here. So Barry goes in here and he goes in with Bruce, the, the silky Danver cross, and then my two Danver boys. Now they know each other. Um, the Danvers all live together and then Barry lives in his separate, but he's been sleeping with them for a year. Um, so they all know each other very well and they can be left in here um, without any problem overnight. Eddie doesn't know them. And so Eddie goes in his uh, separate box. And it's, so it's important to remember that if you've got cockerels that don't know each other, even though you're putting them into a, a, a night box, a sleeping box, they will still vocalise and they will still fight. Uh, so if you've got lots of different cockerels that don't know each other and haven't hung out before, it would be wise to use a variety of cat boxes, uh, cat carriers, that sort of thing for them and not bung them all in together. Otherwise you can't, might come down in the morning to some blood and gore where they've been fighting. The other thing to remember is they need ventilation because chickens have a higher body temperature than humans um, and so you need to make sure you can't just shove them in a cardboard box with no holes or anything like that they need to have a crate or a car carrier that's got you know this has got slits all along the side here and a uh, a split uh, gridded front now they are covered in a blanket um, so the door they're shut in the blanket goes over and then the door is shut. But the bl with all this ventilation holes and the blanket as well, the blanket will keep some heat in, but it will allow ventilation. Um, so that's the main thing you need to remember. Otherwise, you can get poorly sick chickens from being overnight. But that is very simple how I do it. So Eddie in the cat box, the others in the poultry crate, and then they all go out again in the morning. So it's getting to evening and we're gonna put the first of the chickens away. Um, so I put um, the Danvers away first and then I wait till it's dark to get Barry and Eddie because if I go into the coop, they're trying to attack me. So I wait till they roost and then I put them. So, let's... Hello, little babies. So there you can see they've started to go to bed already. Let's take Bruce. Oh, Bruce, should we take Bruce? Come here, Bruce. Oh, Bruce, 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 Bruce. I normally actually bundle all three together. So here's Bruce. Come on, Bruce. And Bruce has literally just started crying this morning, so 
In he goes. And then, so I'll get the other three. They'll all go in here. And then later I'll get Barry and Barry will go in there and then Eddie will go on top. Ventilation. The blanket is just to shut out any extra light. My boys. So that is my number one way of keeping your roosters quiet at night is by using those sleep boxes. So I normally let my roosters out between 8 and 8.30 in the morning, which is generally the time when people are going off to work or going to school. Um, so they'll already be up and you're not going to be waking them up. Um, and then in the summer, um, I tend to find, I tend to shut them away about 9, 9.30, even though it's lighter for longer. Although I do find that my cockerels are actually a, a lot more vocal in the morning and midday and actually in the uh, afternoon and evening, and they're much quieter. I don't know whether that's a thing, but certainly with my cockerels, that's the way it goes. Um, so I hope this has given you a little bit of an idea of how to go about quietening your roosters up. As I say, it's not a 100% uh, fail-safe method, and it also is a lot better if you can actually box them and then put them somewhere in the house, because then you're muffling that sound even more. If they're in their night box in the garden, or out in the field, for example, uh, there's only one barrier um, to stop the noise going on. But if you then bring them inside like I do, and I put them in that little blackout room as well, there's the box, there's the blanket, there's the walls. And so, although I hear them when they start to crow, um, you know, oddly a bit earlier on, it kind of muffles it for the neighbours. Um, so, if you've liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe so you don't miss any more future episodes. Uh, visit Facebook, we've got Brimwood Farms Community Group on uh, Facebook, so come and join us, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.